Do you think that this is a game that I'm playing? You think I enjoy sneaking around cheating on my wife? I wish you didn't exist. That way I couldn't have these thoughts. But I do exist. And your plan all along has been to get rid of me. Yeah, and it backfired in a major way. I was never supposed to end up in bed with you. I was trying to prove to my father who you really were. Well, your father saw much more than that. I know. And you know what he said to me after he caught us together? Why, JR? Why did you take it so far? He called me out. I mean, I never would have slept with his wife if part of me didn't want to. You couldn't resist? I still can't. At the house, Marissa could walk in at any time. And that's not me. No. In fact, it made me even more excited. How sick does that sound? You keep asking, what are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about us? I think it's time we came up with an answer. It's something personal with Adam. Annie saved his life after Stuart died, so no matter how betrayed he feels, there's got to be a part of him that still feels grateful to her for that. And I know he's happy with Brooke, but maybe he wants to make sure that Annie's happy too. <laughs> what, you mean with me? Who else would I mean? You care about her, don't you? The night my father died, um, this family had almost fell apart, and Uncle Adam did. And Annie, she, she stood by him. She protected him. Despite the fact that everybody in town was pointing the finger at her, she could have turned him in and cleared her name, but she didn't. So, yeah, no matter what, I care. The thought of that many zeros should at least rate a smile. Well, I'll be happy when I get my portion of the commission check. Oh, for crying out loud, man. The contract isn't even dry yet. You know, hello, patience, darling. We're about to get everything we want. What I want is for Colby to realize what a no-good punk Damon is. Well, that should be easy. Just point to Tad, like father, like son. Yeah, I've dropped that bomb already. Really? You know, I'm just surprised that Damon hasn't run for the hills from Tad. He's too interested in my daughter to run anywhere. Ah, there's the rub. Wouldn't be the first male to be blinded by love. It's not love. Okay, well then fine. There's nothing to worry about. So why don't you stop stressing and celebrate? Shouldn't your wife be here celebrating with him? She's in Rio right now. She had some business to take care of. And you didn't go with her? Why not? I mean, you could have taken that honeymoon and you didn't get it. Well, it's not like I didn't have a deal to close, right? Is everything all right? Well, you seem to be interested in everyone else's relationship these days. Well, I, um... I just want Colby to realize what a huge mistake that she's making, Damon. Fine. I'll just tell her. I've told her. Believe me, I've told her, and it's only making it worse. I just don't want her to hate me. Believe me, being liked by everyone isn't at all what it's cracked up to be. There's something to be said for stirring the pot. Let's go somewhere else. No, we're not leaving. We're not giving him that kind of power. I get the feeling this is going to be more fun than I ever could have imagined. I should have known it was her. I mean, I read these emails now, and it seems so obvious. Honey, let me ask you something. Are you a mind reader? Are you supposed to... How would you know that she was able to get to a computer or that she had access to, to even leave or escape or whatever she did? Well, if I hadn't been so caught up in being a model, maybe I would have... Please known. don't start doing that and blaming yourself. Please. You and Natalia could have been killed because I didn't put two and two together. Honey... You know what? Forget it. I don't even know why we're talking about this. Everyone is fine. My mother is where she needs to be, and it's over. Well, yes, uh, almost. She's still at the hospital, and she's waiting to be transferred, so I'm just bringing it up in case... If you wanted to have some sort of closure, 
Now would be the time. I have been dealing with my mother's illness for my whole life. This is just another twisted chapter, and I really just want to turn the page and start over. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you uh, really should be getting to work. Thank you. You're going to be late. Right. Oh, you know, uh, did I tell you that Ted said to me that the kids were asking about Trevor? I guess the girls have been missing him since we haven't been there, since we moved out. And I don't know, I was thinking to myself, maybe it would be nice if, if you called Opal. You know, and get them all together, and this way the kids could have a play date. Oh, look at that. Trevor agrees. Oh, what's up, little man? You want to see your cousins, right? Is that what this is about? Well, I was just talking to Mommy about that. Yes, I would like to see my cousin. I think I would have a good time, he says. I think you would, too. What that do you think? sounds see? great. Sure. Okay, good. Good. All right, there's Mama. Yeah. Where are those keys? Oh, I took them. All right. Mm. I love them. Bye.